Once upon a time, in a castle far away, a terrible event occurred. Oh, oh, oh. oh please don't, please. I've broken your promise to me, so you must be punished. Oh. Oh. What promise did she break that cost her her life? Did that gold key unlock some monstrous secret? Across the lake and deep in the woods lived a fair maiden and her three brothers. They were very poor. The forest was the only place the girl had ever known. But she dreamed that one day a rich prince would come to marry her and she would become a princess. Josephine, would you bring us a pitcher of water? Yes, I have it all ready. Here's a cup for you, Frederick. Thank you, Josephine. Mm. And uh, some for you. Mm, more. <laughs> All right, there. And you. Thanks. Mm, I feel something wonderful is about to happen. <laughs> this could be the day that my prince comes to ask for my hand in marriage. Huh? You'd have better luck attracting a mountain lion. How could any man find you in this forest? They're both right. No prince is coming unless a lion drags him from his castle and brings him back here for supper. <laughs> I believe you will come, not in a lion's mouth, but in a white and gold carriage, just like in my dream. Oh, Look out. Oh. <laughs> my master has sent me to fetch your sister. I must be imagining things. He wishes to marry her as soon as possible and has sent the gift of his good faith. I trust my master's generous offering will be to your liking. Go! Look at oh. that! It would appear that his master is trying to buy himself a wife. Hmm. We must meet your good master before we make any decision. I'm sorry, but that is quite impossible. So without further ado, I'll take leave of you, gentlemen. Good day. No, wait! Uh -huh. Huh? I know my prince has come. It has happened. I want to marry him now. You don't even know this man. I cannot allow you to marry a stranger. He is not a stranger. This is his carriage, just as I saw it in my dream. But dreams aren't <laughs> real. They are. This carriage looks real to me, Donald. And it's come to take me away. I'm worried about this marriage, Josephine. Don't be. Huh? I've seen the man in my dream, and I desire to marry him as soon as possible. That's wonderful. My mission is completed. Please do accept my gift. Oh. Oh. You must leave at once. My master is waiting to welcome you. Oh. I can't meet him dressed in this old frock. Dear lady, there's no need to distress yourself. A beautiful gown is already oh? being prepared. Oh, wonderful. Come along. Hey, wait, Josephine. Don't you think you should give this a little more thought? Why? It's my dream. Everything is coming to pass just the way I knew it would. There you go, my dear. <laughs> Bye. But uh, we will meet you. As her brothers watched in silence, Josephine rode away to meet her prince. Soon the castle appeared in the distance, far more grand than she had dreamed and masses of white roses lined the path leading to the palace door. Inside, a gown of the finest white satin awaited her. Josephine was filled with joy as she took in all the splendor around her. I can't believe it. This gown is scented with rose perfume. This is your husband-to-be. May I come in, my dear? <gasps> uh, uh, come in? <laughs> Welcome to my home. I am very pleased that you have accepted my proposal. Oh, I hope to be a worthy princess. I'm so happy to meet you, my... Oh, no. I fear this bluebeard distresses you. Oh, my prince. Do I seem that much different from what you expected? Mm, no. That's good. Then our marriage can take place as soon as I tell the servants to make the arrangements. I think this evening will be a good time for our vows. Yes, sire. Might as well. That pleases me, because once my mind is made up, I like to execute plans immediately. Oh, my. You must trust me. I will try very hard. It's just that when I dreamed of marrying a prince, you did not have a blue beard. <laughs> Are you quite certain that you can trust your dreams? I have never relied on fantasies myself. It is better to accept life as it is. I apologize for my behavior. You have been extremely generous in providing me with this beautiful gown. It is much more than I deserve. I accept your apology, my dear. And there are many more gowns awaiting your approval. I'm very grateful. <gasps> it really is blue. But I think blue is nice. <laughs> Come, Josephine. Let us go downstairs. All right. 
That beard of his is absolutely frightening. It looks like he dipped it in an inkwell. But he does seem kind. So hopefully, I will learn to become fond of it. Oh, this castle is so beautiful. And now it's my home. You must be as rich as the king. <laughs> <laughs> You'd better not tell him. There must be hundreds of doorways, and every doorway is painted the same pretty color. If I'm not careful, I could be... Oh, huh? I wonder why this door is a different color. That's very intriguing. May I take a peek inside? No! Uh... That room is not important. The preparations have been completed. It is time for us to exchange our marriage vows. Oh, uh... Hmm. The room was quickly forgotten. Josephine and her prince became man and wife. The brief ceremony was followed by a feast fit for a king. I've never seen so much food before. There's plenty more. We'll dine like this every night. Oh, dear me, I could get fat. But I'm not going to worry about that on this special night. Which platter should I start with? Whatever pleases you most. Sample them all. I will. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, what's that? Dumplings. I'm very curious to know what's in that covered dish over there. I think I'll try some of that first. I feel daring. Oh, and I'll have some wine too, please. <laughs> ah. Mmm. It's my first wine. I hope I don't get tipsy. Her chatter <laughs> is charming and delightful. Timber! Whew, I'm mighty glad we got the money to buy new axes. We must thank Josephine for them. I wonder if she is happy with her prince. Maybe we should try to find their castle. I happen to stumble upon it. They live in a mansion across the lake. There's plenty of timber we could chop down near the castle and keep an eye on Josephine at the same time. Hmm. Maybe she will invite us in for dinner. I would like to see the inside of a castle. Yes, they probably hold banquets all the time, and there would be plenty of food for us. A whole table full, and perhaps the prince will buy our firewood to keep the castle warm. Hmm. I am not particularly happy with this dress. Please take it away. Yes, madame. Thank you. Perhaps you would like to wear the white dress to dinner. It is your husband's favorite, after all. Don't tell me what I ought to wear. I'll decide. I like this one. As you wish, madame. Would you care to try this one, madame? Come in. Excuse me, madam. Dinner is now served. I will be right down. Thank you. Hmm. Now I really am a princess. Josephine was quite pleased with herself. Not only did she look like a real princess, but she had begun to take on majestic airs, which her husband did not find particularly appealing. Are you content with everything, Josephine? Dear, I am not at all happy with the way this meal is prepared. The food is fine. Servant, come here. This meat is not at all properly prepared. Bring me another plate at once and remove this one from the table. I am very sorry, madam. I will see to it that it is taken care of immediately. See that you do. And tell the cook that not only is this meat too tough for human consumption, but that we had the exact same food last night, and I would like a more varied menu in the future. Josephine, I wish to speak to you. I must leave on an important journey, and I'm entrusting you with the care of the mansion. Uh -huh. These keys unlock each door, and you may investigate every room if you like. Hmm. You mean these keys will open all of them? That's right. These rooms hold many treasures, and I'm quite certain they will dazzle you more than any of your dreams. I trust they will provide plentiful amusement for you while I'm gone. I can hardly wait to explore them. However, this is the key to a room which must never be opened. I forbid it. Can I trust you with this key? Yes, of course, but why can't I use it? Do not pry, Josephine. It is more important that you keep your word. Remember, I forbid you to use this key. Do not forget, Josephine. Josephine was lost in thought, wondering what great secrets this gold key unlocked. Was this the key to that dark doorway that fascinated her so? What was hidden there? My word, do you really think Josephine lives there? Yes, this is the castle I was telling you about. Somebody is leaving in that coach. I wonder if Josephine is inside all alone. Mm. As soon as her husband rode off, Josephine, with keys in hand, began to explore the castle. Which room should she pick first? She quickly chose one and turned the key in the lock. The door opened and... <gasps> it's wonderful. All the money in the world must be stored here. The whole room is covered in gold coins. I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. 
beautiful. <laughs> this is better than any dream. <laughs> oh, they're so gorgeous. This is how a princess should always look. Josephine whirled around and around till she was quite dizzy with happiness. She was a princess at her own ball, and the hours just flew by. My husband is quite right. Real life is much better than dreams, as long as I have these keys to open so many treasures. Oh, I almost forgot. There's that little dark door. Something is drawing me toward it. What could possibly be locked up behind it? There is a room which must never be opened. I forbid it. Can I trust you with this key? The gold key is the only one left to try, and I am forbidden to use it. I have opened up all the other rooms except the one I am most curious about. I wonder if I dare try it. Maybe I could see if it fits the lock without actually opening the door. Oh, maybe I should try just looking through the keyhole. Maybe not. Do not cry, Josephine. Why must I be held to such a promise when nobody's around to see if I keep my word or not? How will he ever know? It is important that you keep your word, Josephine. Do not forget. I wish I could forget that room, but something keeps drawing me toward that door. I cannot be sure if it is only my imagination or if this key has some power over me. I'm frightened. I feel so weak. Oh, oh, no, no. This key seems to be pulling my hand. It will not let go. I wish I knew what was happening. Josephine was torn between her own vivid curiosity and her word. She had promised not to open one particular door. And this was indeed the door of the forbidden room. Her struggles against temptation were in vain. She was holding in her hand a magical key, and it seemed to have a power she could not resist. It pulled her down the stairs and guided her hand until the key was slipped into the lock. It was too late oh. to turn back now. It fits. Hmm. Oh! 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 Ha <laughs> ha! 
Unbeknownst to Josephine, the beautiful white roses outside the castle were magically turning red too. And unexpectedly, her husband was returning home from his journey. Let's finish up here and go ask Josephine if we can dry off in the castle. We can take her this firewood. Mm hmm I hope we can get this wet wood to burn. Gee, it must be cold in there. Where are my keys, Josephine? They are right here waiting for you. See? Very good. You may keep them, Josephine. All my treasures are yours if you've kept your word. I must examine the golden key. Give it to me. All right. Here it is. I'm very pleased you are wearing that white dress. Did you know it is my favorite one? Yes, but I don't know why. You see, white is the color of purity and complete innocence. It possesses a magical power to detect truth and honesty. Only a lie can stain it. Oh? Uh, oh. Place the key on my handkerchief. Oh. Oh. Now! <laughs> oh. 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 oh! It can't be! I cleaned it! You have broken your word, Josephine. Now you must pay as did the others for disobeying me. could have had everything. Now it's too late. You will take your place with my other untrustworthy wives. Oh, no, please, no, no! <laughs> hey, something's wrong. Look at all the smoke. Huh? It could be on fire. Come on, let's help. I cannot forgive you. I made all your dreams come true, and I gave you the keys to my riches, but that wasn't enough. You had to have my secrets, too. I had hoped you might be the one wife who would not disappoint me, Josephine. I am a merciful man. You will not suffer a long and painful end. This magical sword will work swiftly! Josephine, you cannot escape from me now, so do not even try! Why do you make this so difficult? I am determined to have my revenge. Stand where you are, Josephine. The time has come. Now! Josephine! Where are you? Get him! As Josephine and her brothers fled the castle, the fire began to spread everywhere. They watched in silence as Bluebeard and all of his magnificent possessions were consumed by the flames. Josephine's dream was gone, but something far greater had taken its place, her newfound wisdom. For a moment, she had been a princess, but she had forgotten to be caring and trustworthy. The treasures of her dream had vanished, but her new riches of love and trust would last forever.